Systems instructors, Mike Ravon, was uh, pretty excited about those APUs. And the next call you'll hear is for uh, Scott to clear the caution warning memory. Back the gaseous oxygen vent harm. Clear caution warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. We have no unexpected errors. Clearing the caution warning. Scott again? Scott. <laughs> this is called the beanie cap. They're moving that away. Caution warning is clear. Stopping off of fuel cells has been terminated. Close and lock your visors and initiate OG flow. Test the wishes on your mission to service the International Space Station. Is it going, Justin? Yeah. 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 We're on our way to the station and we'd like to say thanks to everybody who has made Atlantis and us ready for launch. See you about a week and a half. All right, so they're closing their visors, they're ready to go. Mary Ellen just turned on the intercom recorder, so we've got to hear from Mary Ellen. All right. It's almost ready, buddy. Sound suppression water system now being armed. Minus one minute of power. Here we go. Uh, rocket booster joint heater is now being turned off. And the solid rocket booster flight data recorders are activated. Final check of the solid rocket booster steering commands now underway. Okay, well, I'm going to turn this off and sit down and let you all enjoy the launch. T-minus 31 seconds, the handoff to Atlantis' computers has occurred. 45 seconds.
Sun is now at an altitude of 9 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at 6 miles. That is so cool. Did you get pictures, Judy? Yeah. 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 One minute and 48 seconds into the flight. Yeah, right now, we'll see that. We're going to be Space Center 22 miles at an altitude of 24 miles. Like with the bright lights, it's going to be a burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. The booster officer confirms good separation of the two solid rocket boosters. All right. The flight is now at an altitude of 34 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 42 miles, 2 minutes and 25 seconds into power flight. Atlantis, two engines, yeah. With that call, in the event of a single engine failure, Atlantis could now reach the transatlantic landing site at Saragossa. Telemetry continuing to indicate that all three engines are performing as expected. All systems on board continuing to perform well. Two minutes and 50 seconds into the flight, Atlantis now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 69 miles, traveling at a speed of 3,600 miles per hour. Three minutes and 20 seconds into powered flight, Atlantis continuing to perform well. Three main engines, the auxiliary power units, and fuel cells all performing as expected. Atlantis now traveling at a speed of 4,300 miles per hour and an altitude of about 56 miles. Downrange from the launch site now at about 115 miles. And uh, Jeff Williams is now officially an astronaut. Uh, they have too much energy to come back to the launch site. Uh, the tank P message uh, is just a message they got. Uh, Houston's telling them no problem. Just keep pressing. Do well. Atlanta's now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 174 miles, traveling at a speed of 5,500 miles per hour. Wow. Just about four minutes of power flight remaining. Four minutes and 29 seconds into the flight of the Atlantis. Just look at the rockets going out. Where? Like right there, underneath it. See it? Those are the SRVs. Where? I don't see them. You see it? Right there. You see them? Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Copy, Atlanta. Four minutes and 55 seconds. The flight Atlantis could now reach orbit on two engines should one fail. Again, all three engines are continuing to perform as expected. They now have enough energy to make it to orbit even if they lose an engine. Just about three minutes of powered flight remaining. Again, all systems on board Atlantis are continuing to perform extremely well. Atlantis now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at a distance of 281 miles. Atlanta, single engine, Hop 3, Zaragoza. And that means uh, even if they lose two engines now, they can still make it all the way across the land in uh, Spain. Of really no ray of hope in the game at all, to all of a sudden, 